My name is Apa Osu, and I'll be presenting on the impact of bold pattern on the fire performance of protected and unprotected concealed timber connections. And this paper was written by myself, Dr. Osama, and Professor Heidi Sofakloss. I will give a brief introduction to my project, talk about the aim and objectives, the experimental procedure, my results and discussion, and finally, the conclusion. Why is the study of timber connection important? We have light frame and heavy timber construction. In heavy timber construction, the steel plates and bolts are used at the connections. However, due to the thermal property difference between the wood and then the steel component, the connection becomes the weakest link in the case of fire. The common types of hybrid connections are the exposed connection, then the seated connection, as we see in the picture. Then we have the concealed connection. As we can see, this type of connection is aesthetically pleasant. However, the issue with concealed connection is the problem of reduced cross-section due to the notch. Also, the steel plate transfers more heat to the wood core, thereby reducing the failure time in fire. For this reason, the aim of my project is to improve the fire performance of concealed hybrid connections. And the objective is to study the effect of both pattern on the fire performance of protected and unprotected concealed connections. Experimental procedure. I use glue lamp spruce pine, 12.7 millimeter uh, thick steel plate, and 19.1 millimeter bolt diameter. This is a typical bolt position and protection. We have the unprotected connection, position one and position two patterns. Then we have the protected position one and we use wood plugs and wood strips to protect the embedded bolt and steel plate. The glue lamp beams were connected to steel column and a load was applied 1.4 meters from the connection. The top of the beam was protected as well. I used thermocouples to measure the temperatures at different depths and that is what I used to determine the charring rate. The setup was exposed to standard fire. Result, the connections were subjected to 100% ultimate design load of 14.8 kN meter. For unprotected connections, they lasted for about 30 minutes and they filled by splitting and then rocher. For the protected connections, the position one lasted for 56 minutes. However, the position two lasted for 48 minutes. And it was noticed that this happened because the position two failed earlier by splitting. The effect of bolt pattern on the connection's rotational behavior. Using 0.1 radians as acceptable rotation, Pattern 1 unprotected connections lasted 1 minute more than Pattern 2 and Pattern 1 protected connections lasted 8 minutes more than Pattern 2. Bolt protection effect. For Pattern 1, the protected lasted 23 minutes more than the unprotected. For Pattern 2, the protected lasted 16 minutes more than the unprotected. Conclusion. The use of wood plugs to protect the steel component increased the connection's failure time by 20 minutes on the average. And the alignment of bolts with the glue line plane contributed to wood splitting. Also, the bolt pattern for the unprotected connections had negligible influence. For this reason, I suggest further study using self-tapping screws. Thank you.